As foreign adversaries actively work to disrupt the election, senior intelligence officials say it's the days after polls close when America might be most vulnerable to misinformation. We spoke exclusively to Dan Coats, President Trump's first director of national intelligence, in his first television interview since the president abruptly replaced him in July of 2019. The nightmare scenario is that on election night, um, people will draw conclusions, or days after, will draw conclusions that their candidate uh, has been denied the victory and that public riots will result, that violence might result from that. The president says the only way he's going to lose is if the election is rigged. He also keeps saying this will be the most corrupt election in American history. Is this going to be a corrupt election? Uh, the president says things, uh, counter says them sometimes the next day. Uh, but I think if we adhere to the principles that are necessary for a legitimate election and the American people understand that and demand that, I think that's where we'll end up. Have you seen any evidence of widespread fraud or anything that leads you to believe this will not be a fair election? No, I haven't. And the people I have talked to who are looking at this have basically said they have not seen this, at least at this point. What the intelligence community has seen are efforts by China, Iran, and other nations to disrupt Tuesday's election. But the country that concerns Coates the most is Russia, in what he's calling the Super Bowl of elections. They're the New England Patriots uh, of messing with elections. Uh, I think they do it better than anybody else. President Trump has continuously referred to Russian interference in our elections as a hoax. Are they a hoax? I am ex absolutely clear that by the intelligence we have gathered, that we have full confidence that the Russians are going after our elections. They're trying to undermine our confidence in democracy. They're doing it now. They're going to continue to do it. And the American people need to know that. The president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, has openly admitted, openly admitted to seeking information that could damage the Bidens. And one of his sources is someone who the U.S. government has said is a, quote, active Russian agent. Isn't that a national security threat? We need to get to the bottom of that. Absolutely. What's your advice to the average voter, Democrat or Republican, who's anxious, nervous about this election? Let's stand up together and say, I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat, we're going to stand together and at least do this. If we don't, Joe Biden and Donald Trump will not be the winners. But Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping and the Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, they'll be laughing and saying, we got him. We cannot let that happen. Such a serious message, and Coates is now working with the bipartisan effort called the National Council on Election Integrity. You can find more information at counteveryvote.org, and you can see much more of our interview with Dan Coates. Go to cbsnews.com or on the CBS News app.